okay guys so um I thought about it and I kind of want to share with you guys what happened how we ended up back here at my mom's house so I know in the last video I kind of mentioned a little bit about it but I'll go into more detail right now so what happened was after I had my baby um I had to go back to work and so it got a lot harder to make any YouTube videos and I was feeling a lot more depressed so a few years ago well not a few years ago but a while back when I was more like in high school I did kind of start feeling depressed and I had a lot of issues I had a lot of anger issues and I had a lot of depression and it's just uh, the whole fact that I had a bad experience and a bad relationship with my dad and he left he was an alcoholic so that all kind of affected me a lot in our family so we all kind of have a lot of issues but I'm a lot more I guess as the years went by I learned more about myself and I'll, I'm a lot more self-aware and I'm really good at I don't know understanding my feelings in a way so it's kind of like back then I had to deal with depression and I felt like once I got my relationship going with with God I it got better and it kind of just I felt like it got that issue got fixed and I wasn't like dealing with that anymore so I thought I had overcome it and and I was good I was good to go so recently well not recently but as maybe I don't know like a few months after we got married and after we had our baby and all of that new experience it was great but at the same time life happened and things got really complicated my husband lost his original job that he had and he started working for this other company that was more of like whatever you sold was basically your income and it, it was just a bad job and I wanted to be a supportive wife and I kind of just let him try it for a few months and those few months became almost a year and so he wasn't getting like a steady income it was always different and sometimes it was nothing so it kind of all landed on me and the job that I had to kind of cover the bills and cover everything else and and during that time then his immigration um, case got closed and we had to get a lawyer because he was going to get deported and it was just like everything was going wrong like I don't know what, what was going on but just life was kicking our butts so it was a lot of money that needed to be used to pay the lawyer and then it turns out that we also had to pay the lawyer that his mom had because they also had a case with him so then we ended up paying two lawyers and so that's a lot of money they're not cheap and we needed to pay them now because obviously his case was moving along he was one of them was closed so he was getting deported he had a deportation and so obviously he's like what are we gonna do and it just got really frustrating and we started falling behind on rent on our bills and we have a we had a car to pay and things just piled okay so that was my husband calling so I was like oh no okay so anyways what I was saying was oh I lost my spot um um we fell behind our rent too much and our apartment was actually getting full of mold and it was really nasty just because of the bathroom it kind of started growing my husband had to clean it clean the walls everything my shoes got ruined our furniture got ruined a lot of the clothes were nasty and we had to wash everything and it just everything was going wrong you guys um so we had to move out because we basically got evicted um we couldn't get the money we couldn't pay the whole thing because obviously we're broke and we're trying to pay off things as the most important one and then lower and it just we had to borrow money from my family and it just got really bad and we ended up just moving out um we didn't have anywhere else to go so we came back to my mom this is where we're at right now we're back in my closet that I used to be in and used to do all my videos this is where my um, dresser was and my clothes were up here hanging and my vanity still on that side with my my computer 
my clothes are actually on well some of it because I got rid of a lot of things I got rid of all my shoes most of my makeup is gone like I have minimal <laughs> minimalized everything and so I hardly have anything and so I don't feel as bad giving away things and throwing things away just because the way I look at it now my priorities have changed and my style has changed a lot of the shoes that I had were like six inch heels I don't wear that anymore um, I just wear more of four inches are the highest I go and I wear more formal looking shoes or whatever and I like the chunky heel right now because they're a lot more comfortable and I can like walk better in them with a baby like carrying a baby I don't feel like a shaky um, with a baby I don't know um, but and now I have to share my shoe shelf with my husband I have to share this whole little closet with my baby and my husband so my I'm actually sitting on my baby's like bed right now um, and I have made a bunch of shelves it's not cute you guys not cute at all but I kind of make it work in here this is where, where we're going to be living for at least another year our plan, ooh, I have the door open because it's really hot in here, so sorry if you can hear the cars. But, um, this is our plan now after getting evicted. After all this chaos, we have finally stabilized. I felt like we were on top of a mountain and we just kept tumbling down and I felt like we hit rock bottom. And so all that there is to do is shake it off and get back up so we finally feel like after we got evicted that was that was it like it was all very stressful it, finance, finance has always caused a lot of stress in a marriage and it wasn't that I was mad with him it's just that we were both so stressed out and in bad moods that we felt like we, we started arguing a lot and just I was emotional my depression came back and I feel like I well it's not like I don't know I felt like it came back or it just it created a whole different type of depression that I had to be facing with and I don't know if it was the baby blues because I had given birth and maybe that was postpartum depression I'm not sure what it was but maybe it got it just I know that it, it really got triggered because of the finances and I have a hair in my eye so I just know that money stressed the heck out of me and it broke me and I I cried almost every day because I didn't know what to do that's not the life that I wanted to give my baby and I'm sharing this because I feel like a lot of people think other youtubers and Instagrammers they like have their life together and I just feel like it's helpful when you see other people share their struggles and how they overcome that so for me it's been hard but I feel like we're getting back on track and it, it's all been just a one big trial because we really had to depend on God and we've seen how he has helped us and our family and sustained us at least in the even in the smallest things that we've seen in our lives um, so other people might not see it as anything but for us we've seen how he's worked in our lives so yeah I feel like right now we're gonna be here for a year the plan this is the plan the plan is we're going to be here for like another year or so um we moved in here in February it is now June so we've been here a few months um we're gonna pay off our debt that we have this year that's the goal try to pay all of our debts this year we're done paying the lawyer so whew, that's done um, oh, did I mention my husband got like a bunch of tickets? Not a bunch, but he had like six tickets and they weren't small tickets. One of them was like 600, one of them was like 400, and the other four together are like another 400. So it was the money we didn't have, so that also got me pissed, like very mad at him. Um, we worked it out, obviously. I love him, so just gotta move on. So, um, yeah, so then we will be here another year or so we're gonna pay off our debt debt that's the first thing we have to do this year by the end of this year we're we should be good with that not including my school debt that's a whole different shebang um that i have no idea how we're gonna pay off if i don't become a because the plan was if i become a teacher i could get part of that whole loans like forgiven or something like that like through working as a teacher 
but if I don't work as a teacher, then I have no idea how I'm going to pay for that, um, just with my regular job. Um, so that's a whole different thing. But at least the credit cards and all the other loans that we had, um, we're going to pay that off this year. And then after that, we want to start saving up for a house. So whether that house is here in California or in Texas, um, that's our plan. So we can start saving up the more, the more that we save up, the better. And that is my husband. He's downstairs. I got to open the door. So yeah, that's basically all that we've done. Um, so that is the plan. I hope it works out. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I will be making a lot more videos now and I will see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.